गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट पॉम ऑफ क्लास टेंथ एंड द बुक इज द फर्स्ट फ्लाइट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर द पॉम अ डस्ट ऑफ स्नो सो बिफोर स्टार्ट टेल मी हाउ आर यू फीलिंग इज टूडे वर यू हैप्पी यू आर एट होम आई होप यू विल बी वेरी हैप्पी no some of you are said you can be so tell me when you feel sad where do you go do you go to your parents especially to your mother because she might say some beautiful words some soothing words to you or you want to talk to your friend oh some of you might like to go to park because there you come in the contact of nature and nature is very soothing we all know that and what about going to sabji mandi if you are said can you think of going to sabji mandi to refresh your mood no but why yes because in sabji mandi there is nothing or there cannot be anything which can refresh your mood because there will be only the vegetable hawkers some vegetable peels and if i talk about the sabji mandi of my town then you can find some stray animals also so there won't be anything which can refresh your mood but by chance it's amazing just think you have gone to sabji mandi because your mother has asked you to go there to fetch some vegetables from there and there you see a beautiful child was also come there with his mother and he is smiling at you so don't you think that your mood will be refresh will feel better yes dear children our today's poem talks about the something like that only It talks about that in our daily life there can be some situations there can be some experiences when we are said we are gloomy and sometimes and by chance it happens that we happen to go somewhere we happen to experience anything and our change it changes our mood automatically so let's start the poem you know who is the writer of this poem the writer of this poem is robert frost i think you know about him yes he is the same who has written the first poem of your class 9th that are not taken so let's start today's poem it talks about that some petty experiences some simple experiences can change our mood for better so let's see Okay, what we what the things we are going to cover today? First of all, I'll be giving you the introduction of the poem. I'll be doing word meanings. I'll be explaining the poem in uh, just uh, line wise. Then I'll be discussing the trade devices. We'll be talking about rhyming scheme. I'll be giving you the summary, and of course, at the end there'll be homework. So let's start. Yes. you know this is a very simple and very short poem you can see there are only eight lines in it i am reading it first the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hammock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had dreamed so let's talk about its introduction The poem "The Dust of Snow" by Robert Frost is a simple and short poem, yet with a deeper meaning. The poet explains how an act as simple as experiencing snow on one's body can brighten one's day up. The message of the poem is very simple: that a simple experience can change our mood. So let's talk about the word meaning. yes first of all there's a word shook you know what is it is it is the second form of verb shake 
and then there is the word dust of snow what is the dust it's not soil it's powdery form of snow and there comes the name of a tree it's hemlock tree yes this is a hemlock tree hemlock tree is actually a poisonous tree which has white flowers and there is a word ruined it means ruined or spoiled so dear children let's talk about the explanation of this poem so first of all i'll be explaining the first four lines of the poem and that says the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree dear children the poem is set in a scene where the poet is in a bad mood and by chance he is walking by a tree and the tree is a hemlock tree and i have just told you that hemlock tree is a poisonous tree and by chance as he passes by a crow happens to throw some snow dust on him i'll show you the crow i'll show you the crow yes this crow was sitting on the hemlock tree and when the poet he was passing through that tree passing by the tree the crow happens to throw some snow dust on him and we are not sure whether it falls on his head or his shoulders it's not unknown, it's not known because there is no specific mention of there is no specific mention of this in the poem and we are not even sure ki how this snow how this rest of snow falls on the poet whether the crow was landing on the tree whether he was shivering with cold whether he was readjusting itself on the branch or whether it was taking off we are not sure of that because there is no mention of this action in the poem but it happened to send some particles of snow upon the poet here two agents have been reduced in these two lines and they are first is crow and the second is hemlock tree and dear children you know both of these things they are not associated with something positivity hemlock tree i have told you that it's a poisonous tree even crow is considered as a bad of ill omen and both of these things are telling us that there was some sadness there was some gloominess in the atmosphere and it was same in the poet's mood so let's talk about the next four lines has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had dreamed we are not sure of because poet has not told us but for some unknown reasons the poet has a terrible day on that day and he was passing through that tree passing by the tree not through passing by the tree and but when he was passing by the falling of the snow on his head lifted his mood instantly why because this snow was an agent of nature he had already spent his day in a bad mood but when he came into contact with nature he his spirits went up he became happy the rest of his day was saved by the crow and the hemlock tree generally i must have told you that hemlock tree and crow are used for negative references but the poet used them beautifully to tell us that sometimes in auspicious things can also bring us joy and happiness one must not take anything as bad because sometimes even bad things can bring good things you know uh, you see we say that everything happens happens for good so the poet was in bad mood but when he came in contact with nature the some part of his day which was already very bad 
it was saved by the simple action of the crow and what was the simple action of the crow he shook down some dust of snow on the poet and this changed his mood totally i hope you must have got it so let's talk about the next thing that is rhyming scheme of the poem so in the first stanza you see there are two words you want pen yes there are two words the first is crow and the second is snow so you know does crow rhymes with me second word is is me in the second line last word is me no it isn't does it rhymes with snow yes it does so for crow we are writing a and for snow also we are writing a now comes with me with me does me rhymes with snow no so for for me will be writing b me rhymes with tree yes for tree will be writing b so the rhyme scheme is a b a b okay now let's talk about the literary devices so c this line has given my heart has given my heart so this line in this line h h it has been repeated and what is this when this word is repeated uh, this alphabet is repeated twice or thrice in a line what we call we call it alliteration just like anupras alankar in hindi now see the third line second stanza third line saved some part again s s there has it has been repeated so again there is what there is alliteration got it rhyme scheme is a b a b we will write it in a single line and literary device here it has been prominently used that is alliteration got it yes now let's talk about the summary of the poem dust of snow i'm just speaking the summary you listen to it carefully please the short poem by robert frost throws light upon the unimaginable healing power of nature and some small things small experiences from a bad mood to ill health there is nothing that cannot be cured by nature the poet has experienced once such a bad day in his life and by chance he happened to pass by a hemlock tree and a crow was sitting on it suddenly the crow's movement near a hemlock tree dusted snow upon him the snow instantly makes him happier his day gets a lot better so in this way the poet is trying to tell us the supremacy of nature as a whole and he realized that how petty his problem was when he came into contact with nature his bad mood changed into a good mood the fact that hemlock tree is poisonous it's combined with crow being the indicator of doom and fear and both these things are used in this poem as the carriers of happiness in the life of poet the poet tells us through this poem that there are some objects there are some experiences in our life which can change our mood which can change our life altogether we might think we might feel that these things are bad 
these things are not good for us but sometimes even those small small petty petty things are able to change our life and being outdoors in nature with all its unpredictability we can get benefit from nature and in time anywhere i hope you must have got it and now comes your homework what is your homework your homework is that you are to complete the assignments which i'll be sending you based on this poem the dust of snow thank you children